Hello and welcome to how to make a head mold for a goalie mask or really any type of mask that you want to make including for those cosplay people who like to make those latex masks for their costumes. Now I have a lot of hair and I have a beard. You want to slick it down and get as close to your head as possible so that the mask fits. I'm going to use saran wrap to protect my hair and keep it down. Keep the saran wrap as flat as you can where you know the mask will be. Then secure the saran wrap using pretty much anything you could find. I use duct tape. You could use masking tape, uh, probably a flat sided rubber band, anything that will help keep it down and flat. Now I'm putting another piece of saran wrap on the back of my head just as protection. Now I'm going to use Vaseline and I'm going to lube up my face really well. Being that I have a beard, I really want to get a lot of Vaseline in the beard so it doesn't rip off when I go to take the mask off my face. Just don't goop it up. Keep it nice and flat. Get your eyes, your eyelids, eyebrows, even get some of the saran wrap. I'm putting on this protective cover so that way I protect my body from getting completely messed up. It's going to get real messy. Now the first thing we're doing is we're taking one of the longer bandages that I cut and we're going to start from the top of the head and work down towards the jawline. This is going to sh begin the first stage of the outer shell of the mask. want to get it over the ear. Each layer afterwards we want to overlap, at least on the first first round. So after that we're going to joint the layers together. You want to start at the top of your head and work your way down to the jawline until you pretty much leave an oval opening of your face. You're working vertical basically but once you have the oval opening left we're then going to go horizontal with the strips starting from the forehead working our way down. You're going to form the bandages to the eyebrows, your eye sockets, and even your nose. However, make sure you leave the bottom portion for your nostrils so you can breathe. Because you will be covering your mouth. Now you can purchase the plaster bandage uh, at any art supply store. Here in the U.S. we have Michaels, we have Hobby Lobby. Uh, we have private and smaller art supply stores. I purchased my rolls from Michaels. They sold them in 4-inch and 8-inch width. Both were 5 yards long. I purchased the 4-inch and I cut them into 2 inches each. Approximately 8 to 10 inches in length. I feel I probably should have bought the 8-inch and split the 8-inch into... Uh, three inch with bandages as the two inch bandages gave a little bit of an issue when they got wet. They tend to fold and you want to keep everything as flat as you can. It still worked out in the end however. You're going to want to continue this process until you have three layers. I think it's safe to say would be good to purchase three of these plaster bandage rolls. Again, I got them at Michael's here in the U.S. and they ran $4.99 U.S. each for a total of $15 U.S. dollars. And that seemed to be just enough to complete the three layers I needed. At this stage, the mask was pretty hard. We continued to do the second layer and at that point is when I decided to go ahead and remove the mask from my face. Now, as I did remove the mask, it certainly came off fairly easy. However, I uh, probably needed a bit more Vaseline on the beard as it definitely pulled on my beard hair a bit. But regardless, it came off pretty easy and painless, I should say. So I'll leave you to watch the rest of the video till the end.
So now we're finishing up the last of the second layer. To help dry a little bit quicker, we're using a hair blow dryer. Did this for about five minutes on cool air just to help it harden a little quicker before I attempted to pull it off the head. And so as you can see, it came off real nice and easy. Left a lot of residue on my face. It was hard to open my eyes at first. But after washing in the sink a bit and then taking a shower, it all came right off. And as you can also see, the mold came off nice and perfect. It's a bit crude, but it's form-fitting the way it's supposed to be. I later on added a third layer. It didn't need to be on the face to do that. I fixed it up a little bit better so that way it would be safe for shipping until it gets to Michelle's shop in Montreal. You will see this on the last two pictures where it looks more smooth and protective and I added more bandage strips to the back edges so it doesn't fall apart. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make a head mold for a goalie mask or any other type of mask. And again, as I said before, including for those cosplay people who want to make latex masks for their costumes. Thank you again for watching, and good luck.